I'm Harrison Graham. He's Chase Senior. NBA free agency is officially underway. And Jalen Brunson is not going to be a Dallas Maverick. We'll get you caught up on the latest around the Dallas Mavericks here on today's show. Chase, Shams broke it actually before free agency officially got going here. Brunson intends to sign a four-year, $110 million deal with the New York Knicks. The Mavericks meeting was canceled. They did not receive a chance to make an offer. We kind of saw this coming over the last few days. Now he's officially leaving Dallas. Yeah, the momentum has really been building over the last couple of days, as you mentioned. And the ties between the New York Knicks and Jalen Brunson are there, and the list is certainly long. Leon Rose heading basketball operations for the Knicks. He was the agent for Rick Brunson, who is obviously Jalen Brunson's father, who played at Temple University for John Chaney and had a really successful NBA career. And he also grew up in New Jersey as well. And I think for Jalen Brunson, he's looking at a situation. Okay, yes, the Dallas Mavericks made it to the Western Conference Finals. I had success alongside Luka Doncic. When Luka was out, though, I had an opportunity to run the offense, run the show, and I played pretty well. Had a couple of performances that were highlight real worthy, 20 points per game, around eight dimes. And he thinks that he can be that type of go-to guy and one of the top options for the New York Knicks in the number one media market, which opened opens itself up to a bunch of opportunities marketably, but also him getting around $30 million per year. I understand Jalen Brunson wanting to secure the bag for himself. It's also a better basketball opportunity for him. It is a big loss for the Dallas Mavericks. And now, where does their focus shift? To a Colin Sexton, to a Goran Dragic, they have to find now a new co-star alongside Luka Doncic because Jalen Brunson, the way that he's been able to grow, he was becoming one of those stars. Yeah, and look, I've got a lot of thoughts on this. I think the immediate uh, reaction is a bit disappointed, but I certainly understand. He gets to go play for his dad. He gets a bigger role in New York. He gets to play under the bright lights of Madison Square Garden. I get all of that, and obviously they're paying him a lot of money to do it. I think Dallas would have paid something similar, maybe even more. They could offer the fifth year where New York could not, but it appeared on draft night things started to shift when the Knicks – started making those moves by trading for draft picks, uh, trading uh, assets away. They move Alec Burks and Nerlens Noel a couple of days ago, and you're like, okay, well, they're really making a swing here. And it was pretty clear, I would say, by – you know, end of day Tuesday, early Wednesday, that this was going to happen, barring a last-minute change. I would have liked Brunson to grant Dallas a meeting, considering they did draft him and have given him four years of development. But at the same time, if your mind's made up, then why waste anybody's time, right? Uh, what's the point of going in there and uh, wasting Mark Cuban's time and Nico Harrison and these guys? Now it's up to Dallas uh, to shift into a different direction here and try to figure out what the next steps are. Mark Stein initially reported that the immediate response will not be for a guard. They could circle back to a guy like Goran Dragic later on, uh, but I think they're going to look for a 3 and D type of defender, a good defensive player, maybe a Matisse Thybul who's still developing offensively from Philadelphia. Those rumors have been out there, uh, but Jalen Brunson is gone, and obviously it's a, it's a notable loss. A guy who averaged over 21 points per game in the playoffs uh, during this Western Conference Finals run. Now, just for fun, we'll ask this question. I think we all know the answer. Did the Knicks tamper for Jalen Brunson? The answer is yes, but everyone tampers in the NBA. So that's kind of just how it goes. When your dad is on staff, there's obviously tampering going on. That's just how it is. Why for yes and for no, did the Knicks tamper for Jalen Brunson? Now, Chase, I do want to talk Kevin Durant I don't think the Mavs are necessarily in the top tier of teams that could get him. We broke this down on a video a little bit earlier on Mavericks today. Obviously, we've been talking about it during our NBA free agency coverage. Obviously, if Dallas could somehow pull it off to pair him with Luka Doncic, that would be incredible. It does seem unlikely, though. It would be an incredible one-two punch. And what's funny, when a player like Kevin Durant becomes available, there are all these reports about Team A being interested, Team B. Well, at the NBA level, there are 30 teams out of all 30 who are interested in Kevin Durant. This guy is box office. He's a superstar talent. Yes, he's getting a little bit older. The injury concerns have certainly reared their head over the last couple of years, but Kevin Durant is a special player. If there's any way that Dallas can pull this move off, he'd be a great one-two punch alongside Luka Doncic, and it would immediately make the Mavericks one of the Western Conference superior teams. But I just don't think they have the player 
or draft assets to give up to the Nets to appease them to bring in KD because it literally could be a historic deal in terms of a trade. Yeah, I, I don't think the assets are there. I mean, you're talking about Tim Hardaway Jr. for from a salary uh, standpoint. Maybe Davis Bertans. Maybe, yeah, Bertans from salary. I don't think the Nets want anything to do with him. I think Christian Wood would maybe have to be involved who you just traded for, but obviously you'd be willing to do that if you got Kevin Durant with Luka. I just think you look at other teams that can offer – a lot for Durant, a team like Phoenix, if they're willing to flip Devin Booker. Hell, if Miami wants to flip Jimmy Butler, that's those two teams already can offer more right there than what Dallas can. So obviously going to be difficult, but Nico Harrison, he's the GM. He wouldn't be doing his job if he's not trying to get on the phone with uh, Nets GM Sean Marks to see uh, what type of package it would take to get Kevin Durant. Now, I'll tell you this. If the Mavericks somehow get KD, we're going to have it covered here on Dallas Mavericks today. Be sure to subscribe below, youtube.com slash Mavs TV. We'll, of course, cover every move that happens in NBA free agency. Even when Jalen Brunson leaves, uh, you know, we're, we're bringing you that news because good news or bad news, we got you guys covered here on this channel, youtube.com slash Mavs TV. That's youtube.com slash Mavs TV. Now, Mark Stein had a Kyrie note. We'll get to that in a second if there's interest with Dallas. Uh, but first, let's get to this, Chase. JaVale McGee, there was a report earlier out of Arizona um, – because obviously he's been playing with Phoenix, that uh, the Mavericks are expected to pursue McGee. Sounds like the Bucks are as well, according to Tim McMahon. Mark Stein also reported that the Mavs would have interest here. And I think you and I agree, as a backup center behind Christian Wood, that's that'd be a really nice get here for Dallas. A legitimate and very important championship piece. He did it with the Lakers. He did it with the Golden State Warriors after a couple of rocky years to start his NBA career where he was really known for being a dunk contest phenom. JaVale McGee has become a really valuable asset as a backup center and a guy who you can play in the thick of a playoff series. And when you look at the Mavericks right now, I think an area in which they need to improve upon is their front court and front line defense. I thought it got carved up at points throughout the NBA playoffs. Once he got past that first and second level of the defense, they didn't really have any rim protection. And if you go out and sign JaVale McGee, it helps cure that a little bit. You get Christian Wood from the offensive side as a guy who can average between 15 and 20 points per game. JaVale McGee is one of the best backup big men across the NBA. And if an injury happens, he can operate the two-man game, throw down some alley-oops, and give you something defensively. Last year behind DeAndre Ayton, he was really good. Nine points per game, nearly seven rebounds. He's going to block a couple of shots per night because he still has that athleticism, even though he's been in the league for a really long time. And then this then allows Maxi Kleba to slide into a better role for himself. Him playing the four, stretching the floor as a guy who can knock down some threes. I understand last year in the regular season, he was bad shooting the rock from the outside, but in the playoffs, I thought he made yeah, up for got it. Back on track. And he can be a guy, if he plays 20, 25 minutes per game, maybe even a little bit less, he's a good rotational player. For the Mavericks, got to improve the depth and the front line. JaVale McGee could do that. Yeah, look, uh, if you go from Dwight Powell and Maxi Kleba at center in the playoffs to – Christian Wood and JaVale McGee, and then Max Kleba is more of a flex guy that can play some stretch five. He can also play some four. He can guard you know, pretty much all five positions at a pretty good level. Uh, that puts you in a good spot. You've got a legit rim protector in McGee. Kleba can protect the rim as well and defend perimeter guys. And Christian Wood would be the best scoring big they've had, obviously, since Porzingis, but he wasn't healthy enough to really show that consistently. He can give you 18 to 20 a night uh, playing next to Luka Doncic. I thought it was a uh, – Pretty telling thing against the Warriors when Kevon Looney, who's a nice player, but is just really dominating the glass, that they had to fix the front court. So I think getting a guy like McGee after getting Christian Wood would be a really, really nice piece for Dallas, 15 to 18 minutes per game off the bench. Kleba plays 15 to 18 as more of a four. And then, of course, Wood's your primary big in that starting lineup. One more note here, Chase, because there's been all kind of conflicting rumors, as right. we'll say, around could Dallas be interested in Kyrie if they lose Jalen Brunson. Uh, Mark Stein, who I trust him more than anybody with the Mavs, and then I'd put McMahon, too. Uh, they, Stein's saying they would not pursue a Kyrie Irving uh, trade, uh, considering he'll probably be on the trade block now, too, yeah. with Durant being out. And quite frankly, I don't want to mess with Kyrie. Obviously, the talent is undeniable, uh, but uh, it doesn't look like Dallas would be interested, and I don't think I really would be as well. The player is special. Yes. And there's no question about that. 
his availability is not special, and it's an absolute problem. And if you're the Mavericks, you're trying to keep Luka Doncic happy. You have momentum right now, even though losing Jalen Brunson hurts. Former second-round pick, developmental project. You were able to hit on that selection. Donnie Nelson not giving him that extra year. That's a big aspect of this. But you have momentum. That's the point, right? Yep. And you don't want to curtail that momentum. And can you imagine Luka Doncic, who absolutely loves basketball? He's all about hoop. I mean, the season ends. He's back in Slovenia, hooping. By the way, the biceps look really good, too, for Luka, as he's getting in good Ooh, shape. He, he can good. you imagine what would be going through his mind when Kyrie Irving just doesn't show up yeah, for a game? Can't have it. Can't man. happen. And no. I don't think Mark Cuban, who is a business-savvy guy, could also deal with the lack of availability and inconsistency from Kyrie Irving. Special player, maddening guy. Not worth the trouble. Keep it moving. You lose Brunson, but uh, that's not a, that's not going to derail what you have, right. I don't think. You just have to rebound here. Who is the best free agent available? Mavs fans, let us know who a player you want to sign. Best free agent available.